Welcome to Dad's Topics with Shoddy Mills. Hear me discuss about upcoming content and much more. Hello everybody, it's Shoddy Mills. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see behind me, I did add some some posters to my wall. So I'm just going to talk about the stuff that I did post on my wall. So I did post the poster at the festival that I did perform at as a Sand Music Festival down in Calgary, Alberta. That was a pretty exhilarating experience. And also I have my show and tell poster up there. What? So I look, your pictures on the wall? Man, I look at the pictures on the wall, man, and I see different picture frames. I reframe it in my brain like I write and try to regain it. Uh, my college days uh, graphic that I did on the wall there to show you guys just the promotion that I did for that particular single and yeah that's, that's what I did for it but anyways yeah I thought I'd just talk about the stuff that I did there on the wall as well also I got my dictionary up there as well and yeah I'm always going to be adding to the wall excited to add more to that wall and kind of see what else I can No. I also I was thinking of adding something for my upcoming track syndrome as well but anyways we're gonna get right into this YouTube video I wanted to talk to you guys about No. okay so we're gonna get into this video you know I'm gonna tell you guys a little story so story is yeah so let's, let's, let's just say this so we as like I feel like there's a norm there's a norm where like I think man just think about it if someone like tripped over something and so have you ever seen someone trip over something you are straight like, tripping man what you tripping man, on it's, it, it, it's so funny it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I feel like when you see someone trip over something, it's just like, just like, you ever have that feeling where you just like, try not to laugh at something, but the more you laugh about it, the more you are expected not to laugh or you're not supposed to laugh, it's like more funnier. <laughs> I encounter that a lot, and it's like, oh my gosh, like, <laughs> how do I how do I cope with this I just feel like when you encounter that it's just you don't know what to do in that particular situation and you're kind of stuck in your own dilemma you're like should I laugh at this it's a or constant you struggle like, man you know sit back it's almost like <laughs> if someone does, that happens to someone and trip or something it's like oh boy instant karma instant karma i tell you but you know sometimes it just happens like that and you just don't know what to expect and i i've <laughs> i think like yeah i feel you i feel you completely are like caught in the dilemma of something where you're trying to decide between like two things and say you're trying to intersect different two different lines and then when those lines meet in the middle then they kind of can go off road sometimes and I know sometimes when you're trying to get your point across in anything you're just like trying to figure out your way around it figure out your own path around it trying to revise your path to like where you want to go and you know man I'm just like sometimes when I'm like oh my gosh you know like what really you know what really grinds my gears what really grinds my gears that when I have my headphones plugged into my computer sometimes and I'm just like like you know, uh, computer, what grinds it like, a lot of things grind it doesn't want to work doesn't want to work just like plugs your headphones in and then <laughs> All you hear in your headphones is a snare. Wait, there's no snare in my headphones. 
<laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all know. If you know what I'm referencing to, you are a true hip-hop fan, because if you don't, if you don't know what I'm referring to, then... The rap guys would be disappointed in you. Some good hip-hop, some good storytelling hip-hop. Speaking of storytelling hip-hop... Yeah, oh, man, arguably King's Disease, man, like, but ass. It's a good storytelling album. Illmatic, Illmatic, storytelling album as well. And I think that's a good baseline if you wanted to study storytelling raps. And I think that would be good. Good. So. I mean, 2022, man, this is almost like past the first two weeks of 2022 already. It's like, it flew by like an arrow, man, and just like a bent arrow shot to your head, you know? It's just like, bang. But with that in mind, I do, like, got the new single releasing on January 27th. We are less than three weeks, so three, oh my bad, I didn't mean to hit my microphone. My microphone just needed to hit itself. But anyways, what I was trying to say is that new singles coming out in less than three weeks. Countdown is officially on. It's officially on like Donkey Kong. It's going on because I'm dropping the syndrome and y'all gonna catch it. I'm ready to catch Cough the it symptoms. up, man. I know I am ready to catch the symptoms. But you need to count your symptoms before you catch it, man. Just sit back. And figure out what your symptoms are. But I don't know what my symptoms are. Well, man, I don't want to hear that. I want to hear. I want to hear syndrome blasting in your speakers worldwide. I want, I want to spit that. I want it to move mountains. I want it to move the universe. I want it to move. Move. I want it to be part of my music movement. And that's what I've been saying lately. I've been saying I want my new single syndrome is part of a big music movement that i'm establishing but yeah the question is do y'all want to be part of that movement and if you want to be part of that movement great because i'm we're building we're networking and with that podcast and everything new music coming out man we're we're coming in firing firing on all cylinders all cylinders <laughs> you know and it's funny that I say firing on all cylinders because all cylinders would fire up anyways and I'm just going to fire it up even more. You know what I'm saying? Man, once I get to spit in some more rhymes this year, releasing more songs, man, it's going to be no looking back, man. No looking back, I tell you. Because on my watch, it's Syndrome O'Clock. Syndrome O'Clock. That means it's time to catch your sickness because the clock is ticking. The clock is about to strike and syndrome is going to drop down your windpipe. You know, it's coming real fast. You're going to tumble down and you're going to be, you're not going to even realize that you caught the syndrome before it even drops. Like I drops. But, you know, you better keep up to it keep up the date with all my instagram and all the updates if y'all want to join my email list uh you can join my shorty mills email list comment in the link in the comments below and or you can dm me on my instagram my facebook or comment below with your email. Don't forget to click that subscribe button below. Click it and stay tuned for more con content from Shorty Mills. And yeah, talk to you guys later.